to repent. Our brothers gotta realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. In the kingdom you won't enter in Such a bloody scene Why she make it clean For the husband come to clean These but women I'm are tired of eating rest, So I'll make it plain Messiah coming only for the elect You better walk circumspect On the highways and hedges Purging that spiritual house of all heaven Charge of a prophet They think the tired They are the tired Brothers where you at According to the Holy Bible, look at these 12 tribes right here. Where do you see yourself on this sign, so-called black man? Where do you see yourself? You are a descendant of your father. Your father carries a pedigree. Give me Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. This is what you have to understand. Everybody on the face of the earth comes from one of the 18 nations written in Genesis chapter 10. The nation that blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians come from, we come from the holy nation. That's right. But due to our enslavement, we have lost that education. You understand me? That's why we act the way we act. So I'm going I'm to show you something. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Because I want you to understand the difference between us and any other teacher is we're going to prove what we say out of the Holy Bible. You understand me? This book says what it says. I'm just the one making it plain. All right? Read that again. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Okay, so this is the first day of the second month. They assembled all the congregation together. A congregation is just a large gathering of people. Listen, bro, listen. A large gathering of people. So we're trying to identify what people do you come from? Do we come from? Read. And they declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers see what the bible says it says they declared they pedigree by they help by the house of their fathers what's a pedigree pedigree you ever heard that before what you made of what, what you made of right a lot of a lot of us got dogs right you got pit bulls rottweilers a pit bull and a rottweiler is two different pedigrees of the same animal you understand me? So just like people, listen, just like people, your pedigree is from the nation of Israel. That's right. The white man's pedigree is from the nation of Esau in the Holy yeah. Bible. The Chinese man, his pedigree in the Bible is the children of Moab. You understand me? All nations have their pedigree. And your pedigree is by the house of your father. So if your father is a descendant or you are one of the descendants of the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, that makes you an Israelite, and I'm going to prove it right now. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. Come on. Because verse 15 through verse 16 is a set of curses. You understand me? These curses break us down to a science today. All right? When the Bible has something written down, that's called a prophecy. When it happens, it's called history. Right. So it was prophesied that we would go into slavery on slave ships. Historically, we are the only race of people that went into slavery on slave ships at large numbers. That's, right. That's how we know that we are the biblical Israelites. That's right. So with us knowing that we are the biblical Israelites, by what the scriptures say, we have to come back to what the scriptures say. And I'm going to show you that. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, in verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy is the fifth book of Moses. Moses was a black man. Y'all listening? I need y'all to listen. Moses was a black prophet talking to black people. Right. And we're going to identify you, and I'm going to identify you that Moses was talking to way back when. Believe it or not. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee 
and overtake thee. So now I'm gonna break it down again. Give me Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Cause again, black man, brothers, I have to prove what I'm saying. I don't want y'all just to believe anything I'm saying. We have been being pimped and played by men for far too long. Teach. You have to prove what it is you are talking about. So I'm gonna prove what I said. I said Moses was talking to who? The Israelites, that's who we are. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. I'm gonna take my time, come on. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So it says, these be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. The Bible is for the Israelites. The Bible is not for all people. That's all right. people was not around when this was spoken. You understand me? Moses called us Israel. Today they call us African American, right. Jamaican, Puerto Rican, um, Mexican. But we are the Israelites. That's Go back right. to verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass means a future prophecy. Moses said this right around 3,000 years ago. He said, it shall come to pass, meaning years after this, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He says, if you will not hearken, remember it's old English. Hearken means to listen unto the voice of the Lord your God. Because God is your God. He's not the God of all nations. Contrary to what we've been taught in the lion Christian churches. It says the Lord thy God. Thy means he's your God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. And Moses gave us the laws and statutes, which is now known as the Holy Bible. But all it is, all the prophets did was wrote down what God said. Right. That's what makes this Bible different than any other book on the face of the earth. Quran, the Quran don't have God's words. Jeez. Just the words of Muhammad and his caliph. That ain't got nothing to do with God. You understand me? That's the Ishmaelites, the Arabians, as we know today. That's them and they foolishness. That's right. The Egyptian book of the dead is not the words of God. Right. You understand me? The words of God is only found in the Holy Bible. That's right. The word Bible comes from Biblios, meaning records. The records of who? It's your records, black man. We forgot. We couldn't read for 250 years in slavery. Right. We forgot. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. So it says, if we will not hearken, we don't listen to the voice of the Lord's our, of the words of the Lord our God, curses will befall us. I'ma identify that these curses are now our reality. Verse 16. Yep. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Who is cursed in the city? Remember, this is talking about a race of people called Israel. So out of all the races on the face of the earth, in every city of, of the whole world, no. who is at the bottom? I'm going to say something before I go. I don't mean to cut you off. The only, go ahead. The only thing that the white man uh -huh. has control over, power over, is, is knowledge of what, of what what our history says, what have our history done. The only thing the white man has over us is that he remembers. So the only thing that the white man has over us is that he remembers. He remembers. He remembers. It's not just the white man. It's not just the, the Chinese man. He remembers. Yeah, the Chinese go all the way back to their dynasties. They ain't forget a thing. Right. Hey, brother, real quick. I want I got to show you something. Take your time, bro. Take goes, your time. This information is very important, bro. It's very important. It's very important. Just give me your ear. You understand me? Give me your ear, too. So it says, curse shalt thou be in the city. Who is at the bottom right here in the south side? West side? Over east? Even on the north side? Even in London? Who is in the ghettos in Kingston, Jamaica? Who is in the ghettos in Mexico City? In Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, who is at the bottom? The Israelites. Why? Because God says, curse shalt thou be in the city. Right. right? Who suffers high black on black crime rates? High STD rates? Police brutality. The other nations don't go through what we go through in the city. Why? Because we are cursed in the city for breaking God's commandments. Read on. A curse shalt thou be in the field. And also in the city, that's where the slave auction blocks was conducted. You understand me? Remember, when the slave ships dock, they dock on the shores of the cities that's on the coast. New York, New York, Baltimore, Virginia, New Orleans. And we were sold on the slave auction blocks. Brother, come over here and listen. Come over here and listen, bro. And we were sold on the slave auction blocks in the city. And when we walked around in the city, you understand me? We had to walk around with tags. You understand me? Meaning this nigga was owned by Mr. Williams. Bring it out. All throughout the city. 
You understand me? You understand that, bro? I'm going to get you. I got you. So we walked around in the city as a curse. Even today, in the city as a curse. Read that last part again, that second part. A curse shall not be in the field. Who picked cotton in the field? We did. Who, put, who picked tobacco in Virginia? Who picked sugarcane in Jamaica? Read it out. We did. The Israelites, curse shalt thou be in the city and curse shalt thou be in the field. Right. This ain't talking about the Chinese, bro. Right. You understand me? Right. So now, now that we identify who we are, what must we do? Acts 319. Bring it out. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. You, you got to stop living the way you've been taught to live. You have to stop living the way you've been taught to live. You have to stop living the way you've been taught to live. You understand me? Like for example, you see the the, uh, the crucifix that you have around your neck? I used to wear that back in the day. Look, you see those white images on your neck? I don't worship the saints, but they have the right. Yeah, but you got, so you got the unk and you got white images on your neck. So like, look, you see like, for example, like you got the mother, and I ain't, listen, I ain't trying to put you on blast. I'm trying to educate you. I'm using that as a teaching tool. You understand me? Because I don't believe that that reflects you. You understand me? But I gotta talk about that crucifix. Yeah, give me Habakkuk 2 and 18. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. Bring it out! What profit is the graven image? What profit is the graven image? A graven image is an image used to worship, like the unk, which is really foul. You know, the unk represents the phallus. You walk, you walk around with a man penis on your neck, that's a, a man phallus. You understand? They say that it represents life. Don't walk around with a, a man genital on your neck. Don't do that. Nor should you walk around with a uh, crucifix on your neck. Why? Because that don't pertain to us. That's the white people in um, the Catholic religion. You understand me? Remember the Catholic Church enslaved millions upon millions of your people. That's right! You understand me? You see this image right here? Where's the image of when they uh, forced the brother to worship the cross? Right here. We used to die because we knew that this cross ain't had nothing to do with us. You see that? No, I understand. That, look, look, look. The white man had to burn this dude for him yeah, to accept the crucifix. Just like a legend. Yeah, but now we, we wear it willingly. So God said, what prophet is the graven image, bro? Read. Yeah, it's, the, it's, the, it's the man phallus, the penis, and the vagina representing what, the what they say life. This? The long part represents a penis. The opening represents a vagina. Right. And I'm not trying to be vulgar. I'm not trying to be foul. I know it's children not, out here. Not, not but that's what it. This not to be real, but that's all life comes down to. I ain't finna walk around with a penis I mean, on my no, neck. No, no, I'm, no, I'm not no, finna no, do I that. that but that's you understand me? Okay. So let's finish this, and then after that, we're gonna get Baruch four and one. Read that. What profit it? The graven image that the maker thereof have graven it. The molten image and the teacher of lies. That molten image is a teacher of lies. It's a teacher of lies. Why? Because what that unk represent is lies. What the crucifix rep represents is lies. Ain't nobody in this Bible white. Moses was black. King Solomon was black. That's Jesus right. Jesus Christ was black. Right. King David was black. Right. Mary was black. Right. Luke 401 about life. Because you said that that's true, that a penis and a vagina gives life. That's not true. Because you can be living and still be dead according to the Bible. That's right. You understand me? You ever heard of the living dead? Yeah. That's a play on us because when you're not doing what God say do we are considered dead. I'm gonna show you that read it's true though. This is the Baruch, book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever All that they keep it shall come to life. All they that do what shall keep shall come to life All they that keep it shall come to life. See that? When you keep the commandments, you come to life. That's right. Not walk That's around with a with a uh, vagina and, and, and a male phallus. That's right. You understand me? Male and female genitalia, genitals. That don't that don't give you life. You understand me? Again, you could be alive. You could be walking around and still be dead. Yeah, but get, see, get that's the problem, man. Finish that up, and then we are gonna go to group three. But such as leave it shall die. You see that, bro? You see that? But such as leave it shall die. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.